Welcome to this demonstration of the Nuage Network's virtualized services platform, the VSP. In this demonstration, we will follow the workflow for a tenant setting up a new application into a template that can be called upon whenever that application is instigated within the IT environment. This will use the Nuage Network's policy-based networking functionality inherent to the VSP. Our tenant is AAA Banking, and their IT system administrator, Bob Smith, is setting up a template for a new financial application called 4X. 4X is a three-tier application with a load balancer facing a dual web front end for users to connect to, a business logic tier where information processing is conducted, and a database tier where the financial information is stored. As with all applications, there is a clearly defined schema that limits the traffic flows between the tiers to ensure integrity of the information. In networking terms, this equates to the separate IP subnets, access control lists, quality of service metrics. Bob has a login to the Nuage Network's virtualized services platform as an administrative user. This means Bob can create the templates for applications that will be later called upon by the policy networking functions of the VSP when the application is deployed within the IT environment. The first task Bob must do is to set up a new domain for the 4X application. A domain is a container for the application where the structure of the application is modeled and network policies such as security are created. Bob creates the domain 4X for this financial application. As 4X is a three-tier application, Bob needs to create the three levels of application tiers called zones. The first tier is for the servers facing the application users. He calls this zone WebFront. The next tier is where the application processing occurs. He calls this zone Business Logic. And lastly, Bob creates the tier to house the back-end databases for the application. He calls this database zone. Each zone is segmented by an IP subnet. Bob creates a subnet for each application based on his standard network addressing schema. In this case, he sets up the IP subnet 10.0.10.0 for the WebFront zone. ten dot zero dot two zero dot zero for the business logic zone and ten dot zero dot thirty dot zero for the database zone. To ensure that the application functions within specification, Bob sets up a network quality of service profile to limit the amount of traffic that can reach the various tiers of the application. Next, Bob creates access control lists, or ACLs, based on the schema from the application development team that restricts the type of traffic that can reach each of the three zones. With the Nuage Network's VSP, the ACLs are implemented by click and drag between the zones. This simplifies the process and means that Bob does not require in-depth IP configuration knowledge. The IT system administrator at AAA Banking, Bob Smith, takes a call from John Jones from the application deployment team, working on the new 4X financial system. Bob logs on to the Nuage Network's VSP and selects the Groups tab. He creates a new user group called 4X Administrators. Bob then adds John Jones to the group. 
Bob then selects the Domains tab, selects the 4x domain from the list, and adds it to the group 4x Administrators to the Permission tab. Here we are logged on as John Jones. As you can see, we have no application domain set up. However, when Bob Smith authorizes us, the 4x domain will appear within the system. As John is a user of the domain, he is able to use it, but not change the key functionality that Bob created. When John wishes to deploy the 4x application, he simply creates a new instance of the policy. This provides a secure framework for the application deployment. Only administration users can create or change the template with application development teams given read-only permissions. John Jones of the application development team at AAA Banking wants to deploy his new financial application 4X. Bob Smith, the IT administrator at AAA Banking, has already created the network policy template for 4X and provided John with the permissions to deploy the application. John wants to deploy a new version of 4X within his development sandpit to check some functionality before it gets rolled into production. He does this by logging into the Nuage Network's VSP and creating a new instance of the 4X domain created by Bob. John creates this new instance, he is called 4X 2.0, based on the existing domain template. John selects the domain and then claims a floating IP address from the pool. This IP address will provide the connectivity to this new application instance. He now adds a virtual machine, virtual port, or vPort, into the zone web front, and names it Load Balancer. John then assigns the floating IP address he received to the Load Balancer vPort. John is now ready to create the virtual machines for this application. The Nuage Network's VSP supports the leading compute orchestration systems, including OpenStack, CloudStack, and VMware. John now checks the status of the application by opening a browser and connecting to the floating IP address assigned to the system earlier by the Nuage Network's VSP. John is presented with the main screen of the 4X application. John logs on to check the functionality of the application. John is able to see his new instance of the application is available with the compute, in this case OpenStack, and the network provided by Nuage Network's VSP choreographed to instantly provide the application connectivity. With the new development instance of 4X now running in the IT development environment, John now wants his larger team to check on the performance of the application. John goes into the Group tab and creates a new private group called 4x2.0 Viewers. He adds his team of Mike, Diego, and Carol to the list. John then adds this group to the 4x2.0 development domain. These users are then able to view the status of the development, but not change any of the network constructs in place. John also has a specialist database team member called Antoine. John is able to create permissions for Antoine that allows him to view only the database servers rather than the whole domain. John, the lead developer at AAA Banking for their Forex financial application, wants to track the traffic hitting his database server and receive alarms once a certain threshold is reached. There is a network QoS policy implemented as part of the application deployment. However, John wants to check the traffic to ensure that the server has capacity to handle the application loads. To do this, John selects the interface on the database VM within the Nuage Network's domain view for the 4X application and selects Statistics Explorer. John enables statistics collection and then moves to the threshold crossing alerts or TCA screen. He creates a new TCA called Database Overload. John sets the metric to bytes in and configures the TCA so it will raise an alarm if the average traffic exceeds 1 million bytes for more than a 3 second period. John can view a graphical representation of this TCA under the Graphs tab. 
The Nuage Network's VSP can alert John that the TCA has been crossed via multiple ways. One of the more useful is via a notification on John's tablet. The system can alert John whilst he is on the move and provide the relevant information in real time for John to investigate the incident. Thanks for watching this demonstration of the Nuage Network's virtualized services platform. Recapping on the functionality you have seen demonstrated. In this example, we've shown an administrator set up the network policy for a new application and save this as a reusable template. This showed the key steps in creating the network structures, such as quality of service and access control lists, via the advanced click and drag functionality of the VSP. Our administrator then provided the authorization for the development operations team to call on this template for testing their application within the IT environment. Once the application was deployed, the DevOps lead then shared permissions to his team to monitor the performance of the application, including setting specific views for his database admin team members. And finally, we showcased the operational state of the network supporting the application via the setup of threshold crossing alerts supported both within the VSP and on a mobile device. Thanks for watching this demonstration. We've covered a few of the key features of the Nuage Network's virtualized services platform. For more information, visit us on the web at www.nuagenetworks.net and follow us on Twitter at Nuage Networks.